there's a duck that's been laying eggs in our sage plant. There's increasing speculation as to whether it's going to happen for her or not. When we wake, the chicks are here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, can you hear that little squeak? Chick number one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a historic occasion. Oh, you're a mother. Right. This is the reality, folks. <laughs> Welcome to boat life. <laughs> This morning should be the morning that they leave, but she's taking her time about it. Yeah. Do you, do you think the dad duck's been? Because... Yeah, they've all been round. All the aunties, uncles, everyone. Have they? Yeah. We've had some duck dramas, basically yesterday. Yesterday morning they hatched, and then we thought, oh, it's just going to happen. It's just going to happen straight away. Like they're just going to get in the water and paddle off, and it'll be cute. But like that didn't happen, and they ended up getting stuck in between the bucket and the plant pot. It was really bad, and they were going to die. And the mum was trying to sort of get them out, but she was trying to sort of peck the bucket. In the end, anyway, we had to take the plant pot out of the bucket. Otherwise, they would have they would have definitely died because they just couldn't get out. Like we kind of needed to. Well, it's it's probably about half five now, and uh, what I'm hoping is that as it's as the day sort of warms up, the chicks are getting more and more sort of rambunctious and they're explorative so I'm hoping that they're just going to sort of tumble out of the plant part which apparently they do quite often but because they're just covered in fur basically covered in down I don't think it does them much harm I'm no lie What was that? I think it's just a lie Well, it's very hard to sleep when you're nattering on about ducklings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite an unexpected stress being a, a duck landlord. Just spend your time worrying about them, it's not worth it. What's the update, Vic? One of the chicks is out, but there's still three left in the, in the plant pot. The sage plant's not doing so well. <laughs> this is the start I've woken up to about three times this today, this night. Old Mother Hubbard checking on her brood. Ooh. One's in. Two are, three are. <laughs> well, that was the last duck watch. Have you got any very quick thoughts on that before the battery runs out? I'm just very happy that they're all together and they're all hunting for food and they're really cute. And it'll be cool to see them out, out there because they'll probably stick around this area, so you know, we will become best friends. 
This is what she's left us with. Absolute carnage she's caused. Some of it we've caused. Well, it's quite an unusual start to the morning, quite unusually early. Yeah, feels like about 9pm now. Yeah, it feels like yesterday that happened. <laughs> I was just thinking like, what is he on about? <laughs> but, so we've just gone for a little walk this morning just to see what the rest of the day is going to be about. And we thought that maybe we'd uh, take it as a bit of an opportunity to tell you a bit <laughs> or maybe fill in a few of the holes of what's going on because people have been asking what's the, what's the deal. Yeah, a bit more background. <laughs> so basically we were uh, already living on a boat, on the boat that you've probably seen zero um, and we were sort of living around London, sticking around there because we both worked in London, we were both TV editors and we worked full time and so like I think well quite soon we just started wondering what we could do to sort of free ourselves from London's orbit. Yeah because we, we sort of wanted to stay around there but be also be as close to sort of countryside places as possible on the boat but then that meant uh, quite a big commute all the time so we were at the weekends and the evenings was lovely because we were where we wanted to be but then it was the commute that was sort of uh killers yeah so the the cafe boat is uh is our best idea basically of how to live off the fat of the land yeah how to live without sort of being attached to a place yeah Can I get some mint? Yeah. Or we could get sage to replace the sage plant that the uh, the ducks laid in. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should actually. Yeah. And then there's some thyme. Maybe we should get one of these. Trailing petunia. That's nice. Nice. Yeah. I reckon we're probably like in part doing these videos, if we think about it, to like reach out or like connect with a little a community of our own kind of making. Mm. Because usually we're on the hoof all the time, moving about. And yeah. uh, even though we're still within the country, oh yeah, yeah. Do. it's kind of easy to feel like disconnected a lot of the time. Mm. Because we're always moving, it's really hard to keep a sense of community anywhere, which is quite important to us. Yeah. What kind of ice cream did you go for? Strawberry cornetto. It's good first ice cream to just ease your way into summer. And here's our familiar canal. Who's that boat? Na 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 What have you got to do now? Car I'm just going to carry on. I'm going to go to town on the outside of the boat. Yeah. Not literally. Which could be confusing because it's also quite possible. <laughs> But I'm just going to clean it. Yeah. Obviously may have over it slightly on that anchor. It weighs a ton. Quite a lot of noise going on here today. Yeah, this is a working boatyard that we're living in, guys. We're not marina folk. <laughs> <laughs> mess about. Yeah. Come on. I'm 100% sure that I'm using this correctly. Well, I don't know if it says on the instructions to grip with your bare tootsies. <laughs> yeah, 
grip, grip it with your feet and just go for it. Hmm. I don't know if I just prefer the old uh, hand saw. You know where you stand with a hand saw. Yeah, that scares me a little bit. Yeah. Partly because it's not mine and I don't want to break it. It looks massive now that everything's not there. Ooh. Yeah. Quite a lot of real estate for one duck, isn't it? Yeah. Now the duck's gone, I can show you a bit more about the space we've got on board. Look. There's a kind of locker space. We're in it. We're under. It's a shed basically but there's enough room in here where I'm sort of sat now usually this is where we keep our bikes but yeah so I I think actually that kind of seeing this space takes away any of our excuse for the inside of the boat being dirty because there is actually quite a lot of storage in here well not dirty but you know messy or cluttered but um hey you know it's all still a work in progress but I'm going to get the gardening stuff out now for Joe it's mostly stuff in this basket. <laughs> We're not showing you guys any more ducks. We're not looking at any more ducks. It's like the old adage, don't count your chickens until they've hatched. But I would say... Don't count your ducklings until they're absolute beasts of things and can look after themselves. <laughs> Don't count your ducklings once they've hatched. Especially not once they've hatched. Yeah. That's life. Okay, I'm gonna do some gardening. So I've got this little package that's been drawn, electrical diagrams have been drawn on, like most spare bits of paper in the box but mum sent me some seeds that's exciting isn't it yeah produce <laughs> I've left Joe at home editing and I've taken the canoe out, just out to the river. This is the river that we came down on with the boats, you know, with all three boats when we first got here, only a couple of months ago. And then it was a completely different river. You definitely wouldn't be swimming in it, that's for sure. It was in flood, it was causing chaos, it was wrapping stuff around the, around the trees and like, you know, nearly the treetops as well, because it was so high. So. It's nice to get to know it in its friendlier kind of persona. Anyway, I'm going to go for a little swim now because I've left Joe at home and I'm cooking dinner tonight, so I don't want to be too late. way of getting out obviously because the bank is all sort of really silty so you have to kind of emerge like a figure of evolution the water's definitely felt a bit colder this evening but nice though 
Once you get a bit of a swim on, brisk it up a bit, it's pretty good. But we're just leaving our little harbour with my best one-handed canoe. I'll try and show you a bit or maybe I'll try and attach you to the canoe somehow. I'll figure it out. I'm not even, uh, I'm not doing anything, I'm not paddling. I'm just about creeping up river. Upstream, just as the wind's pushing me along. I don't know if you can see, but look at the water now. I keep on trying to show you what the wind is like now and how you can see there's like waves on the river. It's picked up even in the last sort of while I've been swimming and stuff. But uh makes for like an interesting canoe ride back, quite intrepid. I'm quite enjoying it. But every time I pick the camera up to try and show you the waves, especially when you're battling against them, it's all quite seafaring. But I'm not uh, as good at the old one-handed canoe as I'd, as I'd need to be to show you it properly. I'll show you the waves now and then you'll just have to imagine what that's like. And imagine it sort of, you know, with a bit of an exaggeration just to be kind to me. You know, canal dwellers like us, that's not bad is it? Morning! How much nicer is that? It's lovely, yeah. Not that we didn't love the duck. Just like that. <laughs> yeah, again. But um, just mind yourself on the lid. Yeah. Feels like age. <laughs> <laughs> it does feel like ages since we've had like an outdoor space because in winter, obviously, it just doesn't get used as much. And then duck's been here, so it's the first time we can use it. Yeah. Pretty nice, isn't it? Mm. That boat in the paint shed, we're in its spot. So the sound of that hoover lets you know they're coming out tomorrow. So we've got to move today. Hello there. <laughs> This is our spot. Mission accomplished. Do you think you'll be happy here? <laughs> oh. <laughs> We've already done that joke. We do it every time we got some money. Yeah. Oh, what have you done there? I've made a mess. Did you do this yesterday as well? <laughs> yeah. That's why this laundrette never stops. <laughs> yeah? yeah? It's a 24 hour operation, isn't it? Keeping me clean. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even the first reason why I should throw this shirt away. It's got holes in it from ages ago. Maybe we'll have to cut it up into rags and polish some brass with it. Yeah. We need to polish brass, so actually that would be a pretty good idea. This would be a pretty good rag t-shirt. I would miss it though. Yeah, the light blue one. Old bluey, good old oh. blue. <laughs> oh, it's in some stuff. Oh, me in blue. 